Hello Team Sagittarius. Hello YouTube. This is Empire333 here with your love tarot card reading. I hope you're all well and safe. So guys, um, I'm going to do, a, I'm start, I meditated with oracle cards and with the energies and then we're going to get into each person. I might extend this reading if spirit guides me to for further spiritual advice about the story. If I do so, that link will be down below. I'll let you know. If not, you, I'm still open for personal readings, okay? And you can inquire down below in the description box. So Sag, okay, there's something that you are making steady prog progress on, okay? Um, you're making steady progress about something, but you're at this point where you're thinking, okay, I'm, I, I'm not getting the full answers. I need to know clear full answers about what is going on, what I'm manifesting, what I'm not manifesting, I need to know. You're at that point where um, you're sick of waiting. You're growing impatient, okay, with whatever this is. Maybe it's a ro getting to know about a romantic partner, whether you should move on or whatever it is. It could be career. So, this is this is what I'm getting. So Sag, you're normally an intuitive sign, right? But lately you're not getting your messages and like clearly. And it has a lot to do with the lack of sleep, okay? So some of you are not sleeping enough. You're not getting the rest or you're not getting the exercise or it could also be you are eating unhealthy. So you could be munching on chips. You can be munching on like just like junk food is what I'm getting. I'm seeing you, some of you munch on like Chex Mix or stuff like that, okay? So, you know, there's no shade. I'm not throwing any shade. But what I'm telling you is that if you don't take care of your body, okay, if you don't take care of your body, you're not going to get the messages that spirit is trying to send you, that the universe is trying to send you, Sag, okay? So it's like you have to have somewhat of a clean canvas or you know how everything is mind, body, soul, okay? It has to be in alignment. It has to have like this open channel to for you to communicate through, okay? Um... Yeah, it has to have like this open portal is what I'm hearing for it. And some of you, because you're eating all this, you know, junk or you're not getting enough sleep, so then throws off your crown chakra and your third eye when you don't get good sleep. And some of you are just behind a computer or you're at a desk and you're not getting any exercise. So because of this, you're really confused right now. Even though spirit is sending you messages, you're not getting that. Okay, so once you do that, Sag, they're saying that you will find clarity. Okay, um, you just have to, like I said, do the do that. Clean, clean it up. Okay, clean it up because it has to. You have to, you know. If you're growling, that is not an animal. That is my stomach. Okay, I'm fasting, you all. Um, yeah, so make sure you do that because you're going to get a message. You're going to get an omen, Sag, okay? It's going to come in the form of air is what I'm seeing. So either look up at the air. Um, you're going to see something in the sky. It could be, a, you know, I don't know, a bird, an animal. It could be anything, nature. It could be like a cloud. It could be... Like I'm seeing like a streak, so it could be like, you know how airplanes make um, make like things in the air? Like, um, I don't even know what you call that. Let me know in the comments. You know what I'm talking about? Like they make these streaks of clouds in the air or whatever, okay? So it, you're going to see something like that, and that's going to be an omen for you, okay? I also got an omen. I'm going to post it um about a rainbow i don't know who's reading it was in last cycle last moon cycle but somebody one some zodiac signs um omen was going to be a rainbow and i saw it it was crazy i'm like oh my god it must be something that i have in my chart heavy because i did get the omen i'm going to post it so make sure you see that okay 
So let's see about your person, Sag. What's going on? Who's in your energy? Okay. Wow. All right. Woo. What is this? Okay, guys, hold on. Hmm. There is someone here who used to be sweet with words, okay? Which confuses you, Sag, okay? Because this person, whoever they are, it's like when they are um, good, when they are in their emotions, they're sweet, they're kind. When they're not, it feels very cold, okay? So some of you might be getting this on and off energy with this person about how their feelings are for you, what they think of you. So it's like when they're sweet, you're like, okay, great. This person's into me. When they're not, or when they go cold, I feel that some of you question this person. Okay. But I do see that you had some type of, um, ending with this person. Okay. It could be someone you live with. It could be, you know, it's, it's an ending to, okay. This is what I want to say. For some of you, it's not really an ending. It's a transformation of a cycle, okay? So whether you live with this person or you have some type of connection with this person, whoever they are, it's like there's a lot of cycles that are closing between you and this person, which means to me what I'm getting here is that this is bound to happen, okay? So some of you, this connection has to go through some type of an ending and it's like the cycle is overlapping. It might feel like a very like um, hard ending to you, but this all has to do with a karmic cycle. So some of you are ending a karmic cycle when it comes to someone, okay? This could be someone who you're still in communication with. It could be someone who you live with. It could be someone, like, I'm getting a lot of different energies, you all. So definitely I won't, you know, consider extending this reading. But um, you always can book a personal reading with me. I'm open. The information is down below. But we'll get into more um, of what Spirit is saying here. This person wants to come through sweet to you, okay? Regardless of how they acted in the past, a lot of hot and cold energy where you're just like, who is this person? Like, are you gonna, are you into me or are you not? So I see that kind of energy when it comes to you because some of you are like, or it's like, are we off? Are we on? That's another question. Okay. So some of you might be just, you haven't seen this person for a while and you're just communicating online. Okay. Or, um, through text, for example. Like you're not seeing this person for some of you, okay? You just want to know, like, is it on or is it off kind of a thing, okay? Yeah, you've lost hope, Sag. You're losing hope, okay, if you haven't lost it already. Okay. Ooh, Sag, what are you manifesting? Ooh, okay. Yeah, some of you I'm seeing that you're so up in your head about this. Like there's so much going through your head right now, Sag, that some of you are maybe smoking a lot. You know, no tea, no shade. Um, but pay attention to your breath because some of you, because also you're not getting enough sleep. that um oh, i lost my train of thought um do breathing exercises okay and this has a lot to do with your heart space i'm getting your heart space so some of you might be having anxiety too okay so make sure that if you are having anxiety to breathe in a 
paper bag, like a brown paper bag. I don't know if they still have those. I'm just seeing that as a vision. But um, yeah, I mean, these times there's a lot of shortages of everything, right? So I don't know if they have that, but something like that. Oh, or you can put, I just saw a vision. You could put, if you don't, you feel like that, put your face in the freezer, okay? Like not like forever, okay? Just like for like a couple of minutes, okay? That'll make you feel better with the anxiety. Okay, so Sag, um, you have lost hopes. For some of you, you're ready to, t to move on from this person, okay? Whoever this person is, you're ready to move on. I feel like some of you even want to move, right? You want to physically move. You want to move locations like you want a new home or something like that, okay? You are manifesting. You are definitely manifesting, okay? So some of you might have been doing, you know, I don't know, affirmations, mantras, prayers. Um, I'm seeing lighting candles, things like that. Okay, you have, um, some of you, okay, I just got some of you are actually trying to manifest money too, um, and this is all tied up to how you treat your body, okay, with the sleep, with the healthful eating, all that stuff, right, moving your body, so, Sag, you're putting out magic out there. You're putting out the manifestation, okay? So you have to do the physical work, okay? And the way you're going to do that is by getting out of your headspace because a lot of you are in that headspace, okay? It's coming to you. That's what I'm seeing. An offer is coming to you, but you have to get out of your headspace because it's like, I'll give you an example, Sag, okay? You have to alchemize the energies that you're putting, like, you're, it's like, how should I say this? Okay, you're putting out a high frequency Sagittarius, okay? High vibes, high frequency, all that good stuff with the magician energy. You are, I see you, okay? But then it's like you're becoming a worry wart. All these things are going through your head. The doubts are going through your head and all that stuff. So you need to find a way that when those fearful thoughts creep in through your head and they take over, that you, you transmute that energy, you alchemize it to the positive because you're blocking your own manifestation, if that makes sense. Okay? Of course it makes sense. Okay? <laughs> Spirit's like, of course that makes sense. Okay? Yes, that's what you're doing. Okay? So please listen to this message. Remember it. Okay? Okay? You are blocking your own manifestation with your headspace, okay? So you need to clear out your um, crown chakra. Some of you, your crown chakra, you might be getting headaches at this time. You might be getting dizzy. And this has a lot to do with all the things that are going through your head. So when you're actually doing that ritual or that prayer or that candle lighting, it looks great. You're doing what you're supposed to do, right? But then you're not taking care of your body somehow, some way, okay? And the other thing is, is like you're letting all this crap get into your head. And it's all crap. That's what it is, okay? I'm being real here. It's all crap. They're all fears. They're all illusions that are in your head like, oh, no, what if this happens? What if this person does this? Or what if, you know... Um, somebody screws me over in my business, what if, look, like there's all these, or work, or whatever it is, if there's all these scenarios that are made up by your monkey mind, okay? I'm calling it the monkey mind because that's what we call it. It's about um, just these scenarios you make up in your mind, like negative scenarios, okay? It could be because the moon is waning right now and it's about to go into new moon, but it could be because the energy is dark, right? But for some of you, I'm, I'm telling you that the offer is coming, okay? Come on. Like, you don't get th this together. Whatever it is, whether it's <coughs> like a commitment offer or this is like, 
you know, um, a home offer or a career, like the opportunity of a lifetime, it is coming. You are manifesting this, Sag, okay? But some of you are questioning it, like I said, because it's not coming to you as fast as you thought or you don't see it. It's not tangible yet. But let me tell you, you're manifesting something very um, great and big. Like there is big change coming to you, Sagittarius, okay? This is the angel of abundance. This is the empress, okay? Energy. Um, you're manifesting it. So it's like you put it out there. You got all the right resources, but at the same time, it's like not coming through, okay? So um, I know that extended a lot, but this is this is truly about you. Let's see about this person now, okay? Wow. Wow, okay. Okay, so guys, this is what I'm getting. For a lot of you, this is someone you know, they want to be with you. This person wants to reunite with you. Okay? Um, I just heard they want to stick it out. So, <laughs> wow, that sounded perverted for a second. Okay? Um, they want to stick, like, it's like they want to join forces to stick it out. So, which means, like, they want to work at this together, okay? Um, this is someone who you had emotional fulfillment with at some time, okay? This is someone who it could be, like, you had a lot of history with or something like that. This person, this is definitely soulmate energy. Okay, so this is what I want to say, Sag. Some of you, you might have not seen this person for a while. They have been in recluse, and this has a lot to do with they needed to learn a lot of things, okay? They needed to learn. They were like kind of on like a, if they ignored you or they, you know, whatever, stopped communicating, They there's a lot they had to learn, okay? A lot of, okay, all right, spirit, lessons to be learned, and now it's like they want to come back. They want a new beginning with you, okay? They want a new beginning. I feel like this person could be someone that they didn't value you or it's like the passion died out fast, you know? It's like there was passion, but it, it like fizzled out or something is what I'm hearing. And this person, it's like they want to come through with a passion, with... um. Because you somehow inspired this person. I don't know what you did. Maybe you taught them something. You know? Let's see. Okay. For some of you, you all, this could be a soulmate from a past lifetime who you haven't connected to. It could be completely someone new is what Spirit is saying here. For some of you, it could be like someone you were married to in a past lifetime is coming back in this life, okay? So some of you might be like, what is she saying? But I am um, I read Akashic Records, so I do see into past lifetimes, okay? So, all right. Wow. Wow. Oh, I love this. Okay. So this is telling me, Sagittarius, that the more you pay attention to taking care of yourself, the more you pay attention to um, like using all the resources that you have, someone is coming through. Someone will come in when 
you're in that energy, when you're in that frequency, okay? And whenever this person comes in, it's to balance out things, right? It's going to be balanced. So some of you might think, how long am I going to wait for this person to come in, right? And Spirit is saying it depends on you. It's when you are in balance. You, it's when you're going with the universal rhythm of whatever you're here to do, whatever your um, whatever divine will is, right? So get into alignment with that because once that happens, it's like that is what's that's when you're gonna be super happy, Sag. Okay, it's like when. Your spirit is asking you to remember when you got excited about things, okay? Um, some of you are working really hard and you really need to focus more on your body. I'm sorry I keep repeating myself, but they keep saying that, okay? But definitely this person is coming through when you are balanced, when they have their life balanced. Because it has to be in balance, okay? So I'm going to pull one more oracle for you okay oh. <laughs> for some of you this could be someone who you considered a friend okay so it could have been like there was no label on your connection huh Look at this. Wisdom. Oh, I can't show this. Okay. Wisdom. Um, let go of the need to control trust in the wisdom of a divine plan. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. The divine plan, like I said, divine will, divine plan. It's the same thing. Is for you to be aligned with um, your plan, your purpose. Okay. That can come in so many different forms, you all. That would need a personal reading, but um, this is about achieving achievement. So that's what it's saying. So there is the divine plan, okay, that you have is that you need to be balanced and in that plan before this person, whatever soulmate this is, that is coming in will come into your life, okay? So I hope this has brought you some clarity, Sag. If it has, don't forget to like this video. And also, um, let me um, know how you resonated with this message. I wish you all the best and peace out, Sagittarius.